Melodyne plugin using the selector tool in Pro Tools. Hi, this is Carlo. In this video, we'll take a look at one of Melodyne plugins most often overlooked tools, the selector tool. It offers far more than simple selection capabilities. Here, I'll show you some tips and tricks to get the most potential from it. Here, I've launched Pro Tools and imported our demo vocal file. Let's take a listen. And you say you think I can do anything. Great. Now let's go to our mix window, and I've already inserted Melodyne plugin. Let's transfer our audio so we can begin editing it within this plugin environment. And you say you think I can do anything. And of course, as I hit stop, Melodyne has analyzed the file and it's now ready to begin editing with. Let's zoom in a little bit. Choose my zoom tool. And here we go. All right. Now the selector tool is the first tool in our arsenal of editing tools within Melodyne's editor plugin environment. It's also accessible by right-clicking anywhere in the track field. But what a lot of people don't know is much like Pro Tools, if you're familiar with a super tool, in other words, a tool that has multiple functions built into it, depending on where in the audio region you put the, the cursor, Melodyne offers the same capabilities with the selector tool. Watch as I, as I bring the cursor down right above it. The icon changes, like so, to the note separation tool. There. Let me undo that. And watch as I bring it to the very, very front or the very back of any selected area. I can hold my op Option key on a Mac or Alt key on a PC. And I can do time compression and expansion, all with the same selector tool. Plus, let me activate my scale snap. Of course, I can just select a note and I can do pitch editing. All of these three functions are all accessible within this one main tool. Now, I really feel that Melodyne has thought this out carefully. I mean, in today's working environments, we want to work quickly and stay in a creative zone with the work we're doing. We don't want to have to stop and think. And having access to multiple tools within one tool, like the selector tool, can really help people work quickly and more productively. Let me zoom out. There. And let's put the audio there. Now, here's our selector tool again. We can also use it, obviously, to select groups of notes. Okay? Plus, you can also use it by holding your shift button down to select particular notes, like so. Okay? All right. Now, if I select a range of notes like this, and I grab those notes, you can see that the icon is changing, the cursor is changing to a note separation tool, but it will only affect the note that I'm hovering over. All right? And here's our move notes tool. And you see how that is affecting the group of notes that we've chosen to affect. So there's a lot of creative potential here all within this one main selector tool that we have selected. So we have the options of selecting groups of audio and editing them as a whole, or individually just selecting audio like here, here's some sibilance, and separating it out like so. Then we can grab this audio, and we can pitch edit it. And I did that all by using this one tool, the main tool, which is a good tool name for it, considering that is the main tool and how it applies to so many different editing capabilities within that one selector. We actually have the freedom to stay in a creative element while we're working. And we don't have to stop so often and have to make choices to what tool do I need? Where do I want to go from here? We can do uh, note separations, pitch editing, and note timing all within this one tool. 
So I think Melodyne's come a long way, and I really, really applaud them for this kind of innovations. Uh, and within a Pro Tools environment like this, Melodyne works seamlessly well, and it has a lot of similarities with the Super Tool function here that most of us are familiar with if you're a Pro Tools user. Here's our Smart Tool function here in the top left of the uh, Pro Tools editing window, like so. So hopefully you'll be able to utilize the selector tool in your work to speed things up, work more creatively, and really enjoy the process. My name's Carlo Libertini, and thanks for watching. <laughs>